Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all some of the products that I have been loving. Some of these products you guys have seen in my vlogs. If you watch my vlogs regularly, a lot of this stuff you would have seen already, but I know you guys really value my opinion when it comes to different products and things like that. And I feel like the products that I am using right now are just my go-tos. I have skincare, I have body care. I've got a few new products here that I'm gonna share with you guys that I picked up. So yeah, it's just gonna be mainly beauty and body care products. So yeah, let's just get into it. So the first, first thing I wanna share with you guys is my toothpaste. I know, so random little weird but I just ran out of it and I was about to throw it away and I was like I want to share this with them because I love this toothpaste I've been using this toothpaste for several years now I had switched over to the Tom's like natural toothpaste for a while and I just wasn't happy with it after a while I don't know what it is like my teeth were still getting clean and everything but there's just something that I felt was missing and as much as I love trying to like incorporate the more natural products that I use on an everyday basis like deodorant, toothpaste, things like that. This is just one that I just had to go back to and so it's the Crest 3D White and the Arctic. This is like my favorite toothpaste. I love this. I also have another whitening toothpaste that I use specifically at night and when I'm doing my white strips but this is my everyday toothpaste that I use morning sometimes in the afternoon if I brush my teeth in the afternoon but I love this toothpaste it's <laughs> added my new one to my drawer I don't know they're the same exact toothpaste but for some reason the tube looks different on this one I don't know that, but it's arctic white this is the only one that I use they do have other like flavors to choose from I just prefer the Arctic Fresh is what I meant not Arctic White Arctic Fresh Crest 3D White so I wanted to share that with you guys because I really love this all right and moving on to body care this should come as no surprise but the necessary eucalyptus the body wash is probably my all-time favorite everyday body wash that I keep in rotation on a regular I recently ran out but yeah I love the eucalyptus one I've tried the bergamot before and I've also tried the unscented and I always come back to the eucalyptus it's just my favorite it smells like a spa in the shower when I'm using this it has a really good lather makes me feel nice and clean doesn't strip my skin it's a multivitamin cleanser which is why I love it and it is a clean body product so love this if you're looking for a good all over body wash the necessaire is great and I continue to buy it over and over again because it's just so good this video is not sponsored by necessaire but I do have a discount code if you guys want to get you some necessaire products for a really good price I mean you can get it at like Sephora you can get it at Nordstrom um, but if you want to get it at a discounted rate you can just use my code below I think it's for 20% off but yeah my necessaire discount code is in the description box the Osea body oil been using this for almost a year now I think that's when I started using this I think this is my second or third bottle of this absolutely love it will always repurchase this actually went to repurchase it this past week and they were out of it so I got something else to see how I like it because I honestly love body oils especially right after my showers I love to just put this on at night not a greasy body oil um, but it's not exactly like a dry body oil either when you first put it on it feels like it's gonna be like just a big greasy mess but it absorbs into your skin really nicely and just leaves you with a really nice glow not so much as a of a greasy look um, I love the scent as well. This with the eucalyptus together just gives such a nice spa-like smell and feel when you use these two together. So yeah, unfortunately I'm out of it. So I'm probably just gonna have to go online and order it. I have like a little tiny bit left that I will be using. If you're looking for a good oil, check out the Osea. It is my favorite and if you're looking for just like a drugstore body lotion the Jergens, 
cloud cream is surprisingly really really good i find myself using this more than a lot of my body lotions and creams especially just on a day-to-day -day when i'm just like showering for the day and just throwing on something i like that it has a pump versus having to like dip your hand in the cream i i don't know i just prefer things with a pump i wish they made this in some type of way with a pump it has hyaluronic um, complex it's fast absorbing non-sticky feel and it's just a really nice everyday affordable body lotion so if you're in the market for a nice drugstore affordable body lotion cream check this one out by Jergens. we all know Jergens. it's been around for centuries um oh another body care product that i recently started using that i'm obsessed with is the way body cleanser in melrose place as you can see i have been running through this ever since i ran out of my necessaire i have been using this like crazy like i really need to slow down because i feel like i'm going through this too fast i love this body wash it smells so good if you are familiar with the way body scrub and the melrose it smells exactly like it but just in a body wash form and it's so good it lathers so well you really only need a little bit i use washcloths and my washcloths are really really thick and i just put a small amount of this on there and it literally lathers like i dumped this whole thing on the washcloth it's pretty amazing how little you need that goes like a long way so I've really been enjoying using this body wash and I will definitely continue to repurchase it because I am a body wash addict. I like a variety of body washes. I like to switch them up depending on my mood, depending on the time of the day. I have a body wash that I use first thing in the morning when I shower. I have a body wash that I use after I go to the gym. I have a body wash that I use at night. Yeah, I am just addicted to body washes. This is a keeper. I will continue to repurchase this. So highly recommend if you guys were wondering about this one because I did share it in one of my vlogs and I didn't talk about it anymore, but I wanted to share it here with you guys because I'm obsessed. I love this. All right, and moving on to some skincare products. The Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Cream. This was my go-to everyday facial moisturizer before I purchased the e.l.f. I absolutely love this. It is pricey though. It's gone. I just used the last bit of it. It's pricey and so that's why I'm so happy that I found the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream because this has been my new go-to everyday face cream. I love it. It's very hydrating. It doesn't leave my skin oily. I have not had a bad reaction to it at all. And it's super lightweight, but very, very, very hydrating. And so if you're looking for an affordable facial cream moisturizer, check out the e.l.f. This has been really good. I've been using this every single day for a few weeks now, and I absolutely love it and will be repurchasing it. So with that being said, uh, probably won't be repurchasing this as much as I love the Drunk Elephant. It's just not worth it. All right, next skincare product is the Tasha Dewy Skin Cream. I absolutely love this cream. It's so crazy because I purchased this during the Sephora sale, the last one, most recent one. And I feel like I went through this so fast. This is the 50 milliliter, uh, the 1.7 fluid ounce. I feel like I went through this so much faster than my Charlotte Tilbury, which is still practically full. I still love it. I will repurchase it because it's just a really nice thick moisturizer, especially in the colder months. This is not a moisturizer that I use in the spring and summer because it's so like thick and rich. But in the winter, this is my go-to facial moisturizer for the daytime because it's just so nice, hydrating, and thick. So yeah, love that. Oh, the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Love this stuff so much. I am obsessed with this. Like, I don't know if it's okay to use it day and night, but I use it day and night because I just love it that much. This is an empty container. I've like been scraping, trying to get every little last bit out. Like literally, y'all, I 
I have to like do this every day to get the last little bit out but I love this so much it does have like a artificial watermelon scent but that doesn't bother me because I'm telling you when you put this on your skin instantly just starts glowing like it's pretty amazing so so yeah if you have been wondering about the dew drops the glow recipe dew drops I highly recommend. I haven't tried anything else from the, the line besides the dew drops and the toner, which I also love and use every single day. But I would like to try out some other products. One of the sales associates in Sephora tried to sell me on their body lotion and I wasn't convinced. So I passed on it, but she raved about it. So if you guys have tried the Glow Recipe body moisturizer, let me know if it's worth trying but yeah as far as the uh, skincare products I'm really enjoying so wanted to share that I think that's all of the like skin body care stuff as far as makeup I've really been enjoying the NARS bronzer this is the Laguna number no. four bronzing cream I've talked about this in several of my vlogs I'm wearing it today actually and I really really have been enjoying this bronzer it's so smells so good first of all like the scent is just it's like a pastry it smells like a like a cookie or a pastry here's how it looks I've really been enjoying this it is a cream bronzer which can be a little bit intimidating I think I figured it out you just kind of have to like work with it but I've really been enjoying this so if you have been wondering about the NARS cream bronzer highly recommend but I would suggest going in and picking out your shade if you're not sure because yeah I had one of the sales reps at the NARS counter in Nordstrom help me pick my shade and he picked this one for me if I had went in by myself or if I had just bought this online I would not have picked this shade but because I let a professional pick it for me I think he did a really good job and I like it it still gives me the natural makeup look that I like for every day which most of you guys know that I'm just you know real like neutral when it comes to my makeup I don't do a whole lot I don't wear a lot of makeup pretty much like a creature of habit I use the same exact things every time I wear makeup um, but this is something new that I've added and I really enjoy it so wanted to share that wanted to update you guys on the Laura Mercier the translucent powder that I recently switched over to. So yeah, this is the talk free setting powder and I like it. I really can't see a difference in this one versus the other one. This one does give me peace of mind knowing that it doesn't have talk in it. And so I will continue to repurchase this one until they change the formula on me and it starts looking weird. I really like it. It's just really nice and I do like the packaging on it. So that's a bonus. It has a cute little pink top. But I've been using this pretty often and like I said, I really can't tell the difference from this one. And um, I do still have the original one. but. Yeah, it seems like the same formula to me. This one is a little lighter. I feel like this one may be a little bit thicker. The texture is a little thicker, but I've been really enjoying using this. So wanted to share that. Also still loving the Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint. This is in the shade six, and I'm actually almost out of this. So I need to re-up on this because I really, really enjoy this. It's a light coverage tinted moisturizer foundation whatever you want to call it but I just prefer tinted moisturizers over more like full coverage foundations just because I don't need it to be honest um, I don't do like full face makeup so it's really pointless for me to buy like like real foundation so I do like tinted moisturizers because it does give me a little bit of coverage and when I want to do a little bit more makeup this this has been my go-to so still loving this been using this for months and I've really enjoyed using it it's not oily but it's also not super matte it's just a really nice shade once you find your shade I had to go through a few bottles <laughs> to find my right shade but again I am the shade six and I really like it so the Dior lip glow lip oils 
they're just a favorite. I have several of these. They're everywhere. This is just the one that was in the bathroom <laughs> today. I probably have one in my car. I probably have one in several bags. But I really, really enjoy these. They're just a really nice gloss that you could just like throw on really quick. Um, it is a, a oil, so it does give you a little bit of hydration and it does have a little bit of a tint too. So I really enjoy these, highly recommend them. I know for a while they were like hard to find, but I think they're readily available now in Sephora and I think you can get it in like Nordstrom too. Uh, yeah, I really like the Dior Lip Glow oils for just everyday gloss. I am a gloss girl, if you didn't know. <laughs> so that's kind of like my go-to, a gloss or a balm is usually my go-to over a lipstick. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this one. And this is in the Cherry, I think. Yeah, Cherry Oil. So, that. And then I just recently ran out of the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. This is the brow pencil that I like to use when I do use a brow pencil which is not often um i recently ran out of this one but i've still been using a little like spoolie wand on it so i need to repurchase this because i do like using it when i do kind of like fill in my brows a little bit and this is in the 4.5 which i think is medium dark brown i think I think that's what the 4.5 is, but that's the shade that I get. And that's all of the makeup stuff that I wanted to share with you guys. I wanna mention the Myel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil because I've mentioned this to you guys in my vlogs. I am obsessed with this stuff. Like, I am like almost out. Like, that's how much I have left. I use this stuff so much. Like, I am not a hair oil girl. I don't typically like to put any oils in my hair because my scalp produces oils on its own and so I never need to. But this, something about this, I think it's like the, it's the rosemary mint in it. But it makes my scalp feel so good. It smells so good too. Like when you put this in your hair, it just makes your, your hair smell really, really good. It does weigh my hair down. And so what I do, I tend to use this when I am going into my ponytail phase situation. So like in a couple days, I'll be throwing my hair up in a ponytail or pulling it back in a bun because I still have a week before my next hair appointment. And so I usually will just wear my hair pulled back. I get my hair done every two weeks. And so for a few days, I will wear my hair in a ponytail. And then that's when I'll start using this. And I'll just start lining it in my scalp every day, massaging it in, and it feels so nice. It has like this little like tingling sensation. It makes my scalp look nice and moisturized. Even my stylist noticed when she did my hair that my scalp was not as dry and it didn't look as irritated. And so it is doing something. Um, as far as hair growth, I don't know because my, like my hair it, it grows fast so I don't know if that's because I've been using this or just because my hair just grows fast but I have noticed some hair growth and so yeah I've been enjoying using this and I will definitely be repurchasing this because it's just that good so this is worth the hype if you have been wondering all right and then a few items that i recently picked up that i want to share with you guys so i did pick up a new bottle of the necessary body wash and eucalyptus because i just told you guys that i ran out and usually i would do the refill but they were out of the refill they only had it in the unscented and i wanted the eucalyptus so i just purchased a new bottle because I just love it so much. And then I also wanted to try the Boom Boom Body Oil since they were out of the Osea. I decided this would be a good time for me to try this out because I've been seeing so many people rave about this. And so I was like, okay, I wanna give it a try. I love a good oil. So here's how it comes, the pump. And here's the bottle. 
very nice now i do love this original scent of the boom boom cream so i'm guessing it smells similar to that it smells really good like i haven't even fully opened it and it smells amazing it does smell like the original boom boom cream for sure smells so good. I love this scent. Okay. So I'm going to give this a try. I'm not sure if I'm ready to say it's going to be replacing my Osea, but I'll give it a try, especially since it says vis visibly firms and de puffs. I'm all about firming and de puffing right now at my age. So I'll let you guys know how I like it, but it's got rave reviews, so I'm sure it's great. This brand is amazing. And then the last thing I picked up is the butter. This is the African Hand and Body Butter and uh, by 54 Thrones. I've been seeing this a lot, so I wanted to try it out because I was in need of a new hand cream because I've been using my necessary one, but I like to have that on my nightstand. And so I needed one for my purse. So I wanted to pick this up and they had other scents, but I wanted to play it safe. So that's why I got the unscented because when it comes to hand creams, I really prefer them to be unscented so that they don't clash with whatever fragrance I'm wearing that day. You know, it's just sometimes hand creams can just be a little overpowering. And so, yeah, I wanted to give this a try. So let's see. And it says hand and body, but I mainly got it for my hands. Yes. The struggle with keeping my hands moisturized is so real. First impression, I really like it. It doesn't have a scent at all. It just smells like nothing. So that's nice does have a nice shine but it doesn't feel like super greasy it is oily so I'll see how it kind of maybe dries down but yeah this is nice I'm loaded with 100% moisturizing plant butters and oils for all-day hydration formulated with two types of shea butter to deliver a double dose of hydration to dry cracked skin. Luscious creamy texture instantly melts into skin, locking in moisture and leaving skin glowy and soft. Free of parabens, mineral oils, toxins, sulfates, synthetic dyes, synthetic fragrances. So it's a clean product, which is nice. So yeah, I'm happy to have this. So I'm gonna throw this in my bag. I like that it's nice and small and compact so it'll fit in any of my bags or my little toiletry pouches. So yeah guys, that's everything that I wanted to share with you all. I just wanted to come on and just share some products with you guys. You know, I typically do vlogs, so it's very rare that I can just steal and talking to you all. Um, so I chose to come in the bathroom and just turn on the camera and share some of my favorite products with you guys, things that I've absolutely been loving. If you like these types of videos, let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely continue to share with you all because I know it's sometimes easier to see products someone loves in like a dedicated video versus being thrown in vlogs here and there. Sometimes you tend to miss things in vlogs and so if you guys want me to continue to do videos like this where I'm just dedicating a video to products and things that I'm loving let me know because I do enjoy doing these types of videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye!